Oh, my mum will love this. Dear God, my eyes. Bagley! Zip up, get to work, and let's never talk about this again. Move. You've triggered an alert. What? The GPS history of the spider bot we recovered regularly pinged these coordinates. Our mystery witness to the real bombers must have come to this lovely, damp location several times. Ah, oh, that's a good spot to do some shady shit. Or to discreetly dump a body into the Thames.
initiate search. Hey, check this shit out. It's the fucking back cave down here, but for like cops or whatever. Well, if Albion was stomping all over your workplace, you'd find a different place to store your lunch too. And it seems our mystery officer was dedicated. So how'd they end up sniffing around the tone bomb? The computer's dusty enough to kill an asthmatic, but there may still be something useful on it. Inspector Caitlin Lau. Well, former inspector now, since Albion's crew. The Met is no more. The police brass had already buried the evidence anyway. Everything implicating Albion and Clan Kelly in the bombings. But I know Mary Kelly's band of twats were involved, and they're involved in other crimes we can look into. Me and a few good mates are willing to go off book, going after Mary Kelly again. I'll never fucking learn, will I? Inspector Caitlin Lau, video log. Clan Kelly and Albion are teamed up on some deal. I don't have all the details, but it looks to be human trafficking. The European Processing Center is the Albion angle. Since the bombings, they can grab anyone off the street. Call them illegal immigrants, potential dead sick insurgents, whatever. Though we know who the real danger is. So, Clan Kelly gets hold of these people, these Immigrants, deportees, victims, really, and they're taking them somewhere. But where and why? <laughs> it all comes back to the boss lady herself. I knew she was into something, but she wriggled off the hook. There's only one way I can do this. 24-7 surveillance on Mary Kelly. If I'm caught, well, this will be my last entry. But I have to see what she's hiding. So, our mystery officer was Inspector Caitlin Lau. It sounds like Mary Kelly was her white whale, and her investigation led her to the bombings. Wait, so Albion's in with Clan Kelly? Man, fuck the feds. I've been saying that forever. It seems like Zero Day's web covers all of the unsavory bits of London. Tug on a thread, and it leads back to them. Clan Kelly and Albion included. Snatching people off the streets? Bro, that's so fucked up. You know what? Let's do something about it. Inspector Lau mentioned Albion is running their part of the operation out of the EPC. Detectives like us call that a lead. Fucking moving. Keep fucking moving. We still have 
this Albion clan Kelly business leaves a bad taste in my mouth. And if Caitlin Lau's right, then this little nugget jumps to the front of the queue. We have reason to believe a former DedSec operative may still be alive, but missing inside the EPC. Angel Lopez, not London born, but I won't hold that against him, unlike some others. Looks like Angel got caught up in the immigration roundup, which, ironically, may be the only reason he escaped Zero Day's DedSec purge. Anti-immigrant sentiment has grown in London since the bombings. Albion fuels it. It allows them to send anyone they want to their brutal refugee camp. We need to find Angel before they discover he's dead sick. This is kind of personal team. But finding his trail might just shed some light on the Albion clan Kelly connection. Raph, I wouldn't want to spend a minute trapped in the EPC. And one of our family dead sick is in there. We better get him out. I've sent the details to your device and advised our contact at the EPC. They can get you inside. London calling. You're listening to me, Tash, on Buccaneer, your source for what they don't want you to know. This time we're turning our focus back on the media to look at my former employer, the GBB. As we know, the broadcaster has been through a lot of changes since the Hassani government gave in to pressure from his corporate backers and privatised the corporation. Today, the GBB is a shadow of its former self. It's become a tool used by the government to circulate fake news and misinformation. So how did we get here? Where did it all go wrong? How can we tell when our national media has become state propaganda? Our experts speak on conditions of anonymity for their own safety. Here's disinformation and media expert Charles, who's seen free broadcasters built up by journalists and torn down by demagogues all over the world. So before the media fragmented, there was this voice of authority that was trusted and you and, and worthy of trust. Then what we ended up with is a really commercial model where whether you're talking about an app on a smart device or whether you're talking about... So, I've delved more into Caitlin Lau's investigation and an enormous number of missing person cases centre around the EPC. The inspector was definitely onto something. If I was Albion and I knew I had a member of DedSec, I'd torture him for information. So we best be quick.
several times, carry valid identification, and be prepared to present it to Albion personnel upon demand. Summons. I've already taken care of your entry. Get you in quick and quiet. On the down low, yeah? I don't want nobody coming after me. No worries. I'll spoof. But come meet me on the rooftop. You only place here that doesn't smell like piss. Got some info for you. The European Processing Center. It processes deportees by stacking them up in squalid conditions and forgetting about them. But hey, it's to protect London, right? is happening this place is worse than a prison camp every day i see people come through here torn from their homes and their families but i'd rather stay and keep our eye on things maybe help out once in a while like no my days in what world is this cool does anyone even know these poor bosses are here anything could happen to them yeah well people have been disappearing records say they have been processed but it doesn't add up no one ever properly leaves and with the Kellys prowling around like fucking hyenas, I am not too optimistic about the people slipping through the cracks. Mary Kelly's infiltrated the EPC. Those crooks got their fingers up in everything in London. Truth. Now, about your missing guy, the best place to start would be the EPC database. They keep a record of everyone that comes in. And be careful. Pushing the location of the EPC database on your optic. There will be a database here that we can search for evidence on Angel Lopez.
Go on, Bagley. Tell me you found something. I have. His file has been deleted from the main database, along with hundreds of others. Still very detailed. Even when committing crimes against humanity, the government doesn't skimp on paperwork. Here is a recording labelled Exit Interview. You know what we do with terrorists, Lopez? Ah, uh, don't go pissing me off by denying anything. We know you're with DeadSec. You think you were picked up on some random sweep? Not a fucking chance. Nothing to say. Hmm. Well, this is not gonna go well for you then, because I want information. The rest of your cell, where are they? I want names, places, everything you've got. You think I'm daft? I spill everything I know and what? You let me go? I'm not talking. I know how this ends. Oh, I don't think you do. I'm going to throw you to the wolves. The Kellys have an interesting way of disposing with problems. You think I'm scared of some fucking thugs? Of winding up floating in the dams? Fuck you! You're too pretty for that, mate. <laughs> First, they'll peddle you. For Dosh, right? Then, when you're used up, they're going to chop you up and send the pieces to the Four Corners. I can take whatever you've got. I almost feel sorry for you. Get him to the bloody clinic, then. Shit. They knew he was dead sec the whole time. This doesn't look good for Angel. The clinic keeps government service hours, which means it's closed. We'll have to find Angel the old-fashioned way and hack their CTOS hub. Ugh. Deportation limbo, horrible living conditions, unexplained disappearances. It's almost as if the media are deliberately ignoring the situation here in favor of... Oh, look here, Beatrice Stokely, 89, recently took up kickboxing to fill up her days. Fascinating. If the EPC is a typical example of how humans treat each other, I'd say a benevolent AI overlord is a step up, wouldn't you? Now find a way to go fuck yourself, Wev. I have reconstructed an AR scene of Angel's examination. You can view it inside the clinic. Nice fucking work, bruv.
CTOS AR, data reconstruction in progress. Let's make a deal, yeah? I know people outside. Maybe I can help you out. Just get the out of here. Procedures, Mr. Lopez. We'll have you out of here in a minute or two. Fuck, what was that? Oh shit, they put something in him. But what? Facial analysis matches for both. They're part of Mary Kelly's little pack. So, Inspector Lau was right after all. Clank Kelly and Albion are in bed together. What a shit orty that would be. Microchips, coated with biocompatible glass to prevent rejection. The chipped man's neck to track him. Or does it, like, shock him or something? No, these are more sophisticated. If I had to guess, I would say they were designed to deliver a dose of some unknown compound. Not the kind of thing you find at your local corner shop. I could reconstruct the path he took if you want to see how this cliffhanger gets resolved. After him! Man better have gotten away. Fucker! Get it before he triggers! up on him. Come on, Angel. You fuckers! Oh, shit. I think he made it. Damn, fucked up. We don't have a match yet. She's gonna kill us. No, it's fine. As long as he's not damaged, there'll be no waste. Demand's high with the new network. Guess you're right. Let's cheer him, get him in the van and out to the incinerator. I wasn't expecting that shit. It's all in that microchip fam. Those fuckers cheated. Looks like he's been activated. I don't know how bad things are, especially with Mary Kelly in this, but Angel might be alive. We need to find him, see what they did to him and what that fucking microchip is all about. Seems like advanced technology for Mary Kelly and her band of thugs to be waving around. Could Mary be part of a scary dark web hacker group like, say, oh, I don't know, pick one, Zero Day? Interesting theory, Bagley, but hold your investigation algorithms for the moment, will you? Angel needs us. The incinerator they mentioned is probably the Southwark incinerator. It's practically right around the corner. Otherwise, I'm going to go away from Nicky Lapsen. I'm going to go away from Nicky Lapsen.